Good morning, everyone. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you for sticking around until the very end of meeting on the Mesa for, for this presentation. Appreciate the patience. Uh, Fabian Gallinghaus, co-founder and CEO of Solaris. Uh, at Solaris, we're on a mission to accelerate access to life-saving cell therapies and ultimately meet the total patient demand for cell therapies globally. Uh, very proud to have Professor Dr. Carl June on our advisory board for the last four years. Um, uh, we've raised about $355 million to date, made a pr lot of progress towards um, our vision. And I'm going to kick it off by giving it to uh, Carl June, who will talk a little bit about the challenges that we face in our industry and uh, what we're doing about it at Solaris. We have a manufacturing crisis at a time when patient demand for cell therapies is exploding. Cell therapies are basically the next breakthrough in medicine and cure previously untreatable diseases. Unfortunately, I've met patients who passed away before they could get their cell therapies. The waiting list gets longer and there's more and more approved cell therapies with every passing year. This is an emergency, a medical emergency that we learn to scale cell therapies so that patients can be treated. The demand for cell therapies has not been met by the existing use of CDMOs. We're not a CDMO. We're the world's first IDMO. That's an integrated development and manufacturing organization. IDMOs overcome the limitations of conventional CDMOs through vertical integration and technology integration. Vertical integration means we offer both the most advanced technologies and global manufacturing services. CDMOs are constrained to manual low throughput and disjointed technologies. What we need are purpose-built and integrated technology solutions. The cell shuttle integrates all the technologies for all the unit operations in a fully closed and automated high throughput system. Therapeutic developers need a scalable and cost effective solution to remain competitive. They're missing out on revenue. The cost structure is simply unsustainable. We're now working with some of the best biotechs and some of the largest pharma companies in the world, enabling them to do four things. Meet total patient demand, lower process failure rates, lower manufacturing costs, and accelerate expansion to new markets. Cell therapy developers need to adopt a new approach to meet the ever-growing demand for their products. Compared with conventional CDMO facilities, our smart factories produce 10 times more patient doses with the same footprint and the same workforce. We can automate and tech transfer a manual process in only six months. Every tech transfer thereafter is instantaneous to any other cell shuttle in any other smart factory anywhere in the world. Cellaris and their revolutionary technology is going to be a game changer in the cell therapy industry. Partnering with Solaris saves more lives, accelerates global expansion, and unlocks revenue faster than any other manufacturing approach. So Solaris is the world's first integrated development and manufacturing organization uh, that's abbreviated IDMO. IDMOs are uh, a significant advancement over conventional CDMOs. Uh, what differentiates and distinguishes IDMOs from CDMOs is an unprecedented level of technology integration and vertical integration. Uh, vertical integration means that unlike most conventional CDMOs, which uh, rely heavily on disjointed benchtop instruments that uh, they purchase off the shelf from third-party providers. Uh, IDMOs actually go through the effort of inventing, designing, building, testing, and then deploying and operating uh, bespoke integrated technologies uh, specifically for the cell thermal manufacturing uh, problem at hand. Uh, that's what we've done with the cell shuttle, and we now proceed to um, uh, deploy and operate cell shuttles in IDMO smart factories around the world. Uh, because the cell shuttle reduces the amount of floor space and labor required by 90%, our IDMO smart factories get a 10x increase in productivity, meaning with the same number of people and floor space, we can produce 10 times more cell therapies um, than a conventional CDMO. Uh, at this point, we've got two IDMO smart factories up and running, the one in South San Francisco and the one in Bridgewater, New Jersey. As a next step, we'll be expanding to Europe. We'll be breaking ground on the European smart factory next year. 
In South San Francisco, um, we do technology development and then about 7,000 square feet after 57,000 square feet are dedicated to clinical manufacturing, GMP manufacturing. Um, with two cell shuttles, we get up to about 1,600 patient doses produced out of uh, South San Francisco. So plenty of capacity to support quite a few different uh, clinical trials out of South San Francisco. Uh, Bridgewater is an entirely different story. There's no technology development going on there at all. The entire building, and the building is twice the size, the entire 180,000 square feet are dedicated to commercial scale GMP manufacturing. Capacity for 50 cell shuttles gets us up to about 40,000 patient doses based on the seven day process, or 140,000 patient doses based on something like Novartis T charge with a two day process. So, um, that's about, as I mentioned, 10 times as much uh, capacity as conventional CDMOs would achieve with a facility of this size. Uh, on, I, I mentioned with that what differentiates uh, IDMOs from CDMOs is vertical integration and technology integration. I could speak about technology integration for two hours, but I have nine minutes, so I'll make it short. Uh, the cell shuttle is functionally equivalent to about 100 different benchtop instruments in one machine. We've uh, invented, designed, and built our own counterflu centrifuge loot creator, magnetic cell sort, the electroprator, bioreactor, sterilic and transfer technology. Five capabilities in each of the instruments times 20 instruments gets you to about 100 different benchtop instruments in one compact, fully automated machine that delivers true walk away end-to-end -end automation. We're talking about walk-away automation. Even liquid transfers are automated. Sampling is automated. In-process QC is automated. And then it's really high throughput where it gives you the ability to run 16 cartridges simultaneously. We bring down process failure rates by about 75%. Um, the other points I've made. So without further ado, I play a video to uh, bring this to life for you and then speak about the data. The Cell Shuttle is a flexible platform for fully automated closed and high throughput cell therapy manufacturing. It has successfully executed many cell therapy processes with true walk-away, end-to-end automation while meeting all the critical quality attributes. The platform integrates all the technologies required to support 90% of cell therapy processes, including the following unit operations. Enrichment, selection, activation, electroporation, viral transduction, expansion, and formulation. At the heart of the platform lies the closed and automated cartridge. This single-use consumable contains modules for all cell therapy processing steps. These modules include a centrifugal elutriation module for cell enrichment, concentration, and buffer exchanges, two flow cells for magnetic selection, two flow cells for electroporation, a perfusion-enabled bioreactor system, and formulation containers for the final cell therapy product. Lastly, it contains sterile liquid transfer ports for automated reagent addition, waste removal, and sampling. The modules of the cartridge are connected through the fluidic bus, a network of fluidic tubing, valves, and pumps. The fluidic bus allows for software-defined transfer of cells and reagents from any module to any other module, which provides the flexibility to run many different workflows on the same cartridge design. Combined, these cartridge modules support fully automated and closed cell therapy manufacturing, and the cell shuttle can process up to 16 cartridges, running 16 different processes in parallel. Now, let's take a detailed look at the automated end-to-end -end run of a typical 10-day CAR-T cell manufacturing process. Our cells begin their journey when the cartridge, already containing cells, is loaded into the shuttle. The first stop on our cell's journey is the cell separation system. Here, the cells are enriched via centrifugal elutriation, followed by magnetic selection, resulting in a purified population of T-cells. Prior to use, reagents are preloaded into the refrigerated reagent vault system and are automatically introduced into the cell shuttle when needed. As the manufacturing process continues, reagents are added, waste is removed, and samples are taken from the cartridge via the sterile liquid transfer instrument. At this point, activation reagent is added to the cartridge and the cartridge is transferred to the bioreactor system for incubation. The cells then undergo gene editing, either by electroporation of a CRISPR construct or by viral transduction. The cells now undergo expansion in the bioreactor system. Throughout the process, cells are periodically sampled and analyzed using the onboard QC solution until the target cell count is achieved. In the end, 
cells are washed, concentrated, and resuspended in formulation buffer, followed by transfer into the final product containers. The cartridge is removed from the cell shuttle and the product containers are unloaded from the cartridge. Please reach out to BD at Solaris.com to discuss how your cell therapy process can be automated and tech transferred to the cell shuttle. All right, uh, for the last year we've been running many real-world CAR T cell therapy process on the cell shuttle. As the uh, uh, minimum spec, we set for ourselves the release specifications of actual FDA-approved CAR T-cell therapies that are on the market today. And I'm very proud to say that uh, we reliably and repeatedly far exceeded uh, these release specifications on pretty much every metric. Um, there's a lot of detail in the publication that you can download from our website, and I would encourage you to take a look. What makes the cell shuttle um, a big step forward in terms of scalability is the combination of integrated automation and high throughput. So integrated automation means the entire process, all unit operations take place in a closed uh, cartridge that supports all of these unit operations and you can then load up to 16 cartridges into the cell shuttle running 16 different processes for different patients uh, simultaneously or uh, 16 allogeneic batches in the case of an allogeneic process. That gets you up to about 2,800 batches uh, per cell shuttle per year uh, based on a two-day process and uh, less so based on a shorter process, uh, based on longer processes. Uh, but big picture, if you compare that to what's out there, most of the equipment on the market is benchtop equipment that handles one or two unit operations, maybe three, for one patient at a time. And uh, this is different in that it supports all the unit operations for 16 processes simultaneously. I, as I mentioned, 90% reduction in the amount of facility space and labor required means that we can uh, produce about 10 times as many cell therapy batches uh, using this technology uh, um, out of our IDMO smart factories with the same amount of people and the same amount of facility space as conventional CDMOs. And that's very, very helpful as we now proceed to deploying and operating cell shuttles in IDMO smart factories around the world to ultimately deliver on our uh, goal, which is to meet the total patient demand for cell therapies uh, globally. So um, why work with an IDMO as opposed to a conventional CDMO? For, uh, for starters, you can have your process on one, one of the most advanced cell therapy manufacturing platforms on the planet, and it's very widely applicable. Uh, we support autologous, allogeneic, and uh, effectively uh, every process based on suspension cells that includes CAR-Ts, HSCs, TCRs, TILs, and Ks, uh, so on and so forth. Speed is a big one. Um, through, the te through the Technology Adoption Partnership Program, we can onboard, automate, optimize a process onto the cell shuttle in, an, in about six months. And every tech transfer thereafter to any other cell shuttle anywhere else in the world is effectively in instantaneous. So by the time that we've got a network of IDMO smart factories built out around the world, we can actually take a new client, bring him, on, uh, bring him onto the platform in about six months, and then I help him expand to other markets and address patient populations in Europe and Asia um, much, much faster. So we're accelerating expansion to other markets, and that's only possible because of the high degree of automation and standardization that the platform offers. Cost savings, uh, compared with uh, conventional CDMO pricing, uh, cost per dose will go down by, on average, around 50% with uh, the Solaris IDMO. Quality uh, goes up as process, failures, uh, process failure rates go down by about 75%. And then I, I can't stress this point enough, capacity is key, uh, especially in our market, in our industry today. Um, we looked it up the other day, more than 200 programs targeting CD19. So all of these programs targeting the same indications, how are they going to differentiate themselves? Whoever can meet patient demand uh, is uh, going to grab market share. And in this way, uh, the pharma companies that adopt uh, this, uh, this platform early on will have a tremendous advantage over their competitors, and uh, that's the capacity point. So with that, um, last minute here, I'm going to invite you to join the IDMO revolution 
Uh, we do have, as I mentioned, the Technology Adoption Partnership Program. Uh, six to nine months, depending on the process and the complexity, we can take your manual cell therapy process, put it on the cell shuttle uh, um, in a fully automated fashion. That's our process development teams, analytical development teams working with yours. And then towards the end, we do a number of end-to-end -end runs, producing a data set that shows that uh, we can run your process on the cell shuttle while meeting all of the critical quality attributes. That's the uh, program that uh, Bristol Myers Squibb just joined with uh, two of their key uh, CAR T cell therapy assets. Uh, we announced one a few weeks ago, and then we announced the second CAR T cell therapy asset that uh, Bristol Myers Squibb is now putting through this program uh, just two days ago. And uh, if you'd like to do the same thing and unlock the full potential of your cell therapy, I'd uh, invite you to uh, reach out to us, uh, send us an email at bd at solaris.com or fill out one of the forms at, uh, on the website. I'm out of time, but I'll, I'll stick around here for a little bit. If, uh, if you want to come and chat, uh, I'll be here. Thank you very much.